Pen and His Seismoscope by Grant Poe. Introduction. The first seismoscope was invented in 132 AD by Zhang Hen, a great scientist in the Han Dynasty of China. It was the earliest instrument in the world for recording earthquakes. It is not a seismograph because it could only measure the current and location of the earthquake, not its amplitude. The seismoscope. The seismoscope that Zhang Hen invented did not look that fancy. It resembled an urn with eight dragon heads protruding from the top, one in each direction on a compass. One head was facing north, one facing south, one facing east, and one facing west, and one in between each pole direction. There was a ball in each of the dragon's mouths that fell when an earthquake occurred, right into a frog's mouth that was below each dragon. How does the seismoscope work? The seismoscope, also known as the Huo Fang Di Dong Mi, which means instrument for inquiring into the wind and shaking of the earth, works in a peculiar way. Inside the Di Dong Mi, there's a pendulum that swings when an earthquake occurs. If the earthquake is strong enough, the pendulum will hit a rod in the side of the urn. The rod then releases the dragon's mouth, causing the ball to drop from the dragon's mouth into the frog's mouth. The sound of the ball dropping would alert people of the earthquake and the location of the ball would show roughly where the earthquake occurred. In 138 AD, Zhang Heng's seismoscope detected an earthquake in Gansu province, about 1,000 kilometers or 600 miles away from Chang'an, the capital where the seismoscope was located. The earthquake was confirmed a few days later by a messenger. Zhang Heng's life and achievements. Zhang Heng made many contributions to mathematics and astronomy. Zhang Heng was born in 78 AD. He entered the services of the imperial government in 111 AD and became chief astronomer. He tried to calculate pi, invented a first odometer, much like the device we used to measure how far our bottle rockets flew, and proposed that the Earth and universe were spherical. Questions to ponder. 1. How is it that the Didomi can determine the location of an earthquake, but with modern seismographs, scientists need three seismic sensors in the Venn diagram formation to pinpoint the epicenter. 2. Modern seismographs can me measure the amplitude of an earthquake. Did Zhang Hen try to have the Di Dong Ni also measure the amplitude? What would the device have looked like? 3. Did Zhang Hen make many attempts to build the Di Dong Ni, or did he stumble upon the idea by accident? 4. If the Di Dong Ni had not been invented, what would our modern seismographs look like? 5. Why did the Di Dong Ni go out of use? When the Mongolians invaded China, they destroyed the Di Dong Ni along with replicas of the instrument. Thanks for watching!